You know, on any normal year, this would be the beginning of wedding season. We'd be dressing up and going out. We'd be drawing near in church pews or in white folding chairs. We'd be sitting and listening to soft music and the profession of vows. And we'd probably hear 1 Corinthians 13. If you don't know much about the Bible, you probably know 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient, love is kind. This is likely the most popular Bible passage of any that would appear in a Christian wedding. And yet the context for this passage is not a marriage nor a romantic relationship. It's a bunch of people who are fighting about who they follow and how free they are and what gifts they have. You see, in Corinth, people were very proud of who they followed and how free they were and what kind of gifts they have. So much so that some of them went out and did destructive, even dangerous things just to show how much lip. Now, as the one who found now, I'm not talking about the love that you have for your partner or for your pet or even for our best. Like in Corinth, polarization has meant that our identities have stacked onto each other. And those stacking identities inform our ideas and beliefs and even the way we think about and relate to one another. Those differences are real, but they are inconsequential in comparison to the weight of this moment. What we need to meet this moment is love. A love that says, I don't agree with you. I don't even particularly like you, but I'm going to make sacrifices for you because we are in this together. In 1942, as World War II was raging, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt addressed the nation, speaking to everyday citizens making extraordinary sacrifices, and said this, when at the end of this great struggle, we shall have saved our free way of life, we shall have made no sacrifices. So may you in these unprecedented times find supernatural strength and unbridled freedom to love sacrificially. We are in this together and we are going to get out of this together. It's really easy to get caught up in the negative, scary, anxiety-inducing stuff. Mm. But if we could just take a deep breath for a moment, not forgetting about that stuff, not pretending it doesn't exist, but just for a moment to pause and remember that the, that the love of God surpasses all of that. And the love of God and the goodness of God is what holds us through it all. What I love about this song so much is that it focuses on the heart of it all. 
and reminds us to have that childlike faith, if but for a few moments, and just remember that we are loved and to just bask in the love of God as our worship. As we sing this, be held by love and know that God is good. <clears throat> Thank you. 